So this is important here, okay? At the end, we want to have this pen pattern has notches as well as the line that customer need. By the end of this video, you will know how to grade pants pattern in close 3D using the auto grading function. Easy step by step. I will share with you some tips and tricks to grade these pants pattern into multiple sizes from small, medium to large. Then we will bring these graded patterns to Adobe Illustrator and give them a finished look. Next, I'm going to save this as a new file. To do that, I'm going to come over here to File and then I'm going to select Save As. Then I'm going to name this as M and L. After that, I'm going to save in that same folder and I'm going to come down here. You see Adobe PDF. I want to change that to AI. And then I'm going to come down here to save. And I'm going to click on OK to confirm. All right. So now we have this file is a new file. OK, again, I'm going to create two more layer here. And I'm going to come down here to the plus icon here and press on option all on the keyboard and click on that plus icon to bring this layer option. And I'm going to name that M and press OK to confirm. I will do the same with the next layer. Press down option all and then click on that plus icon right here to bring this layer option window. And I'm going to type an S. Then I'm going to click on OK to confirm. So as you can see right here, we have small, medium, and large. And size is based on a guideline here. Let me go back. So we want small on top, medium in the middle, and large size in the bottom. I'm going to come back to Adobe Illustrator and... Okay, so next we're gonna bring the size, medium, and small, and lay on top of this layer. All right, to do that, I'm going to... First of all, let me just lock this layer right here. Then I'm going to be sure you on that medium layer and then come over here to this medium right there. Click on it. I'm going to press command or control plus letter A to select all that pattern pieces and press command or control plus letter C to copy. Okay. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to press command or control plus letter V to paste all that pattern in that medium layer. And as you can see, it's highlighted in red. That's what we want. Then I'm going to lock that layer as well. And I'm going to click on this layer small right here. And I will repeat the step. Come over here, okay? Click on that right there, that small pattern right there. Command or Control plus letter A. Then Command or Control plus letter C to copy. Then Click on this SML right there and be sure you're on that layer. And I'm going to command or control plus letter V to paste. And as you can see, we have that pants pattern there highlighted in green. That is perfect. Now I'm going to click one on the page to this leg. Okay, so let me zoom in. See what I we need to do. All right, so obviously we only apply the stroke onto the size small, but not yet medium nor large. That's okay. We are going to apply the stroke onto those two sizes before we continue our alignment onto this pattern. All right, to do that, I'm going to unlock that layer, then lock the size small layer, okay? So, then I'm going to click on that layer right there and I'm going to double click right there. See right there? To select all that medium side layer. Now I'm going to come over here 
to this 2D toolbar and click on that stroke icon here to bring the color picker window and I'm going to select red. Since that's what the guideline said, we're going to apply the red color on the medium and click on OK. Next, we want to apply the stroke weight to 3 point. Just click on that twirling arrow right there and then select 3 point. Now I'm going to change my tool right now from zoom tool to this selection tool. Then I'm going to click one on the page to deselect. So as you can see, we have a stroke applied. See right there, that's a medium size. We have red stroke, small size, we have green stroke. Next, we're gonna do the same with the side large. Once again, I'm going to lock that side, that layer right there, then unlock this layer large right here and click on that layer. I'm going to once again, just double click right here, okay? Now all the layer right there are tall blue and as well as all the pattern, let me zoom out a little bit. See right there, all the pattern there are selected. Once again, I'm going to switch to the selection tool then come down here to this, see this toolbar and click on that stroke icon. Then I'm going to select blue. Then come to this top menu and change the stroke weight to three. Then click one on the page to deselect. So it still look kind of messy right now. However, we will make it perfect. Okay, there you have a designista. I hope you find this video useful and Remember to sub and click on the bell for more awesome videos. Thank you.